गाइज आई एम ऑन द मुंबई एयरपोर्ट एंड वी हैव अ फ्लाइट इन नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी मिनट्स वी गन बी लैंडिंग एट बागडोगरा इन अनदर टू एंड हाफ आवर्स एंड फ्रॉम देयर वी हैव अ शेयर कैब एंड वी गन अ गो टू गैंगटॉक थ्रू दैट दैट इज गोइंग टू बी अनदर थ्री आवर जर्नी फ्रॉम द बागडोगरा एयरपोर्ट सो आ होल डे टू डे इज गोइंग टू बी मोस्टली इन द कार एंड द फ्लाइट वी गन अ स्टे ऑन द एम जी रोड वंस वी रीच गैंगटॉक इन दिस एयर बी एन बी होटल विच आर फाउंड विच इज नेम Uh, zero to one. So uh, that's the plan for today. Uh, we booked a flight a month back, and it costed us around five thousand per head one way. Uh, so our total flight tickets was of twenty thousand. I'm going on this trip with my husband. So I was thinking, uh, what is the best way to travel from Bagdogra to uh, Gangtok? And I found this uh, car service named Wizcar, which has a shared seating sort of thing in an Innova car. So uh, you can book your uh, seat on the app and then uh, go from Bagdogra to Gangtok and the same way back also. So let's see how efficient is this. This is the first time I'm trying a share cab service uh, through an app. Uh, our most of the journey after that is going to be through a private car, and I'm going to share all the details with you guys as we move in the journey. Uh, this is going to be a really exciting trip for me because I think this is the first trip I'm going to do a complete vlog off. So uh, my flight is going to be boarding soon, and I'll see you once I land in Bagdogra. So guys, we boarded the Biz Ride cab which we had booked from Bombay, and uh, our flight was a little late. Uh, we reached Bagdogra at around 2:15, but the cab was on time, which we had booked for 3 p.m. So I think that way the cab service is really nice, and they're very punctual in terms of time and everything. Uh, we left Bagdogra dot at 3 p.m. So that way I think this shared cab service is really nice. It has cost us only 714 rupees per head, uh, which is way cheaper than booking a private cab because. Because a private cab would easily cost you around three thousand five hundred. So if you're traveling as a couple or solo, I think this is a really good option. Uh, secondly, I think uh, the cab is very clean overall. Uh, they also had a bottle of water and some snacks for uh, per person. Driver is also driving really well, so I think it's a very good option uh, if you don't want to spend too much in a private cab. Also, I really wanted to recommend you all that please use the washroom which is there uh, in the plane because I thought I would use the one which is there at the airport and uh, the ladies' toilet over there was really uh, badly maintained and there was a bit of water issue also. So I really recommend that use the one which is in the plane before you land. Uh, now we are on our way to the Gangtok city, and we're going to be staying in zero to one, uh, which is on the MG road. Uh, currently, it's not that cold over here, uh, especially in Bagdogra. The temperature was 27 degree, which is not that cold. Uh, so we haven't got the chills as of yet. But I think the closer we are moving towards Gangtok, and we'll be going higher. Uh, I think it's going to get really cold. Also, at the night, let's see how the weather is. We reached Gangtok pretty late, which is only right now, uh, and we came to the market. But uh, currently, it's very currently only few shops are open. So, so we're figuring out place where we can grab some dinner and uh, a bit of winter wear. So here you're getting momos for only twenty rupees. Eight pieces in twenty rupees. Veg momos.
the market over here closes by around 8:30. 8, uh, so in case you are planning to check out the market, you should visit before that. If you don't feel like carrying winter clothes from your home city like I didn't and uh, you want to do a bit of local shopping, you can come over here uh, in MG Road Gangtok Market and you can uh, shop for winter clothes because uh, the markets over here have some amazing winter clothes and you can totally uh, think of buying these because they are made with keeping in mind the amount of cold it gets in Gangtok. So this is one stall sort of which we found itself everything for 100 rupees and a pretty decent quality so in case you guys are interested in knowing what to pack for when you're coming to Gangtok then I have mentioned that in my next video the video starts with what all packing needs to be done when you're coming to Gangtok We saw this food truck from very far as it was red and there was a long queue for people wanting to eat over there. In case you're planning to come to Gangtok, you can check out this food truck just named Taste of Gangtok. So we have decided to have dinner at this Dragon Walk place because it was one of the only restaurants which were open and also I really like the dragons which they put in the exterior so uh, we are hoping to get some authentic cuisine over here. So I couldn't click a lot of pictures while eating because we were damn damn hungry so uh, I have just some snaps from before the food came and how the food looked by the way the food was really good so you can totally consider coming over here that's my thupa soup looks yummy right <laughs> so guys that's all for the day one video so there's going to be a day two day three and a day four video too do watch those thank you so much for watching this one do give me a thumbs up and the next video is going to come up on monday so please stay tuned